Delicious milk chocolate surrounding creamy and sugary peanut butter. Reese's Peanut Butter Cups are one of the most popular confectionery treats on the market today. In fact, they are the top-selling candy on the entire planet and make the Hershey Company over $2 billion every year. And this incredible and wildly successful candy was made by a poor farm boy who started his life as a dairy farmer and then became a shipping foreman for the Hershey Company. His story is certainly one of the most interesting you'll ever hear. On May 24, 1879, H.B. Reese was born on Frost Hill Farm in York County, Pennsylvania. He was born and lived his early years on an agricultural and dairy farm. He was the only child of Annie Belinda Manifold and Akila Asbury Reese Jr., who worked on the dairy farm, and because they weren't wealthy, H.B. worked from a young age to help make money for his small family. He certainly helped around the farm and milked cows for a bit of extra cash, but he also got a little more creative and built a pond to raise frogs that he sold to Baltimore restaurants. H.B. even played the French horn in a local band. When H.B. was only 21 years old, he married Blanche Edna Heisen, and by 1903, Reese was managing the fishing operations of his father-in-law's cannery business in Ditchley, Virginia. However, the job did not provide enough financial security for the growing Reese family. H.B. and Blanche had 16 children together, eight daughters and eight sons, and he knew that he needed to find a job that paid more. So in 1916, H.B. applied for a job posting that he saw in the York Daily Record, posted by Milton S. Hershey. Hershey needed someone to manage and operate his numerous dairy farms throughout Pennsylvania, which was the perfect job for H.B., who had grown up working on a dairy farm. And in 1917, Hershey officially hired Reese to manage a dairy farm called the Round Barn. While there, Reese focused on using milking machines, a new product that was far more efficient than milking cows by hand. Because the farm was experimental, Milton Hershey visited every two weeks, and he and Reese began a lifelong friendship. Of course, as we now know, Milton S. Hershey was using the dairy farms to create his famous chocolate, which years later would become the biggest candy company in the world. And working with Hershey would change Reese's life forever. But it wasn't all smooth sailing from here. In fact, the round barn ended up being too expensive to run, and Hershey shut it down in 1919. Unemployed once again, Reese decided to open his own business he called the R&R Candy Company. The R&R Candy Company produced milk chocolate covered almonds and raisins, which it then sold to local stores. Reese prioritized the quality of his candies and renamed his company the Superior Chocolate and Confectionery Company in 1920. That same year, he raised the equivalent of today's $290,000 in order to purchase high quality manufacturing equipment by issuing stock in the company. However, even though it seemed as though Reese was on his way to the top, the business failed anyway. Once again jobless, Reese decided to take a job at a local paper mill, but it wasn't enough to pay the bills for his incredibly large family. So he took a second and even a third job working as a butcher and canning vegetables. Luckily, things took a big turn in 1921. That year, Reese's father-in-law purchased a home for his family in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And because of the home's close proximity to the Hershey factory, Reese was able to get a job in the shipping department, where he was quickly promoted to foreman. However, the Reese family still needed more money to live comfortably, and H.B. decided that even though his first candy company was not successful, he would give it another go. He started making a variety of confectionery products in his basement, including hard candies, chocolate-covered nuts, and milk chocolate-covered caramel coconut bars. And instead of making his own chocolate, which would have been expensive and time-consuming, Reese used chocolate manufactured at the Hershey Company. There was no doubt that Reese was an exceptional candy maker. He was passionate about creating quality products as well as innovative ideas for new creations. In fact, his milk chocolate covered caramel coconut bars were the first of their kind and the most popular item Reese made. Within two years of restarting his homemade candy business, Reese decided that he would once again quit his job and dedicate himself to the business full time. So in 1923, he incorporated the H.B. Reese Candy Company. He sold his candies to local stores and department stores as well. One of his ingenious marketing ideas was that his employees would set up chocolate coating stations in the windows of the department stores, 
so customers could see the fresh chocolates being made and also enjoy samples before purchasing assortment boxes inside the store. His plan worked and three years later, Reese took out a loan and built a large factory in Hershey, Pennsylvania. It seemed that he had finally made his dream of owning a successful candy company a reality. Reese's assorted chocolates included a wide variety of ingredients, such as nougat, marshmallows, coconut cream, coconut caramel, peppermint cream, raisin clusters, and peanut clusters. But it wasn't until 1928 that he would create the now famous peanut butter cup. Apparently, a store owner in the nearby city of Harrisburg was having supply problems from another confectionery company that they were working with who made chocolate-covered peanut butter treats. The other company was not supplying enough of the little treats as they were simply flying off the store's shelves. Reese thought that he could solve their problem by providing a similar product consistently, but the process of making the perfect peanut butter cup wasn't actually that easy. At first, Reese tried to make the small peanut butter balls, but creating the balls was time consuming and would never allow him to create mass quantities, so he decided to opt for a peanut butter cup instead. Now, it's important to understand that H.B. Reese did not invent the idea of the peanut butter cup. In fact, this product was being sold in stores around the country, but strangely, they weren't usually the store's most popular confectionery. So what did Reese do that changed the game? He changed the peanut butter. Instead of buying peanut butter from a store, Reese made his own. And his unique roasting style, where the peanuts were almost burnt, gave his cups a distinct and delicious flavor when compared to others available in the industry. And soon, his company was packaging individually wrapped chocolate-coated peanut butter pieces that sold for a penny per cup. Only seven years after creating his first Reese's Peanut Butter Cup in 1935, H.B. Reese was able to pay off all his debts and was finally making more than enough money to support his wife and 16 children. He had made his dream come true with hard work and a little peanut butter. Although H.B. had made it and was successfully running his candy corporation by the end of the 1930s, when World War II arrived, everything changed. During the years of the war, sugar was rationed, and although Milton Hershey was said to have given Reese sugar to continue his business, he realized that he would have to make some changes to stay afloat. And because the peanut butter cups were his best seller by far, Reese decided to stop producing anything else and use all his allocated sugar on producing more peanut butter cups. Although it was certainly a risk, it turned out to be one of the best decisions he ever made. Even though other companies began producing their own version of the peanut butter cup, Reese's were the national favorite by a landslide. After the war, Reese still had plenty of money and in 1956, he decided to open his own giant factory in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Sadly, H.B. Reese passed away before the factory was completed. He died on May 16, 1956 in Florida where he was on vacation and suffered a heart attack. And his death was not only a huge loss for his large family, but also for the business. Reese had decided to leave the business in the hands of his six remaining sons. However, trying to get six men to run a business together proved extremely challenging, especially because they didn't get along very well and couldn't agree on how to move forward. Although behind the scenes the Reese's Candy Corporation was a mess, the public still couldn't get enough of their peanut butter cups. Sales were at an all-time high by the end of 1950s, and with automated production equipment, they were selling an incredible $15 million worth of peanut butter cups annually. While the Reese boys argued about what to do with their father's company and legacy, Hershey's heard that they were thinking about selling. The idea of buying Reese's seemed like an obvious one for Hershey. Their chocolate was already being used to make the candies and the two factories were in the same town. After seven years of arguing and negotiations, the Reese brothers finally sold the company to Hershey in 1963. The sons retained 5% of the shares in Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, as well as 666,000 shares in Hershey's stock. That stock was valued at $24 million at the time, which is equivalent to $243 million today. It seemed to be a good deal for both parties at the time, and over the past 60 years, that has proved to be completely true. By 1969, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups were the Hershey Company's best-selling product, selling more than 300 million cups every year. And today, the Reese's family still makes a whopping $66.3 million per year due to their shares in the corporation.
As of 2012, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups became the number one selling candy in the United States, with annual sales of more than $2.6 billion. There are now dozens of variations of the classic cups, such as Reese's Pieces, Crunchers, Minis, Reese's Dip Pretzels, Big Cups, Reese's Puff Cereal, and even a Reese's Delight Coffee Creamer. And to think that all of these incredible products and the billions of dollars they make in revenue every single year all came from a poor dairy farmer who wanted to make candy to provide for his 16 children is almost unbelievable. But that's exactly what happened. Hungry for another fascinating business story? Click on the following video to hear the crazy story about the brothers who created Pizza Hut without knowing anything about pizza.